Okay, today I'm going to show how a sphere is formed on a magnet. Um, it's very easy because um, it's double helix energy flow, uh, which I have always shown. Um, if we go to the top left picture, um, I've brought this up because it's one of the oldest I could find from 30th of September in 2015, just to show that nothing has ever changed. So top left picture says a regular double helix, which is a basically a tornado, which has two horns, uh, a counterclockwise on the left and a clockwise on the right. Here it's shown as the ram's horns. Uh, you've got the fountain of life and all plant growth and uh, the LF of God and um, sun filament explosions, which is made from two leaders. And uh, magnetic fields are like fingers, double helix fingers that stick out of a magnet. And there is a right and a left hand rotation. So I just wanted to put this up to show that there's a left and a right hand rotation and that on a magnet, these double helix fingers reach all the way to the edge of the magnet and then spin over the side of the magnet into the inertial line. Now this is two double helixes. The one on the right is a clockwise rotation. The one on the left is a counterclockwise rotation. When they come out of a magnet, they come out like that and they are attached between each loop by another horizontal perpendicular wave. So the right hand one was clockwise, this is counterclockwise. Now when they spin together on a magnet as I showed with uh, this picture, basically this is what's happening. They start to rotate. So the right hand clockwise rotates clockwise and rotates either in or out depending on the rotation. The left hand one is a counterclockwise and when you rotate it counterclockwise it rotates inwards. And so any material between these two fingers as they rotate in opposite directions will be either wound into the mag magnet or wound out. you put a ball in between those and then rotate clockwise and counterclockwise you will get a sphere. So what I tried to do here was reverse and inflect the images so you could see it actually rotating together. So when you rotate one clockwise and one counterclockwise or reverse that a ball of matter will be either rotated in or rotated out and uh, that's it. That's how easy it is. It's also dragging the ball through a wave, which kind of misshapes the ball and it ends up looking like a crash helmet, which is kind of funny. I uh, don't know if anybody else noticed that, but um, that's due to energy going out in a wave. But this is dragging a ball through a wave that's going outwards, and so it all splashes over the ball, and so it looks like a crash helmet. All right, thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And I'm showing you all the things that he taught me how to find. So that's how spheres are made on a magnet. Thanks very much.